I can't believe in myself. Suddenly I'm on top of the world. You must have been somebody else. What is that noise? Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's just me. Ooh, this hair. Good morning. Oh. Okay, okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Imagine if I was like, guys, <laughs> I'm going to heat up my coffee, so I'm taking you with me. How many times a day do you reheat your coffee? Raise your hand if you have to reheat your coffee like three times. How's everybody doing? Good morning. I don't know why comments don't come through. It's super, super, super annoying. Like, honestly annoying like all it's showing me is who's watching but it's not showing me any comments yet it takes forever for the comments to come through like snooze fest what the fuck? um good morning everybody and welcome to coffee talk it is tuesday april 27th i think how about that moon last night what god showing up and showing out I want you guys to know that I woke up this morning and I thought my booty was getting fat. I was like, oh, look at me making gains, doing the squats. And I thought my booty was so thick. And then I realized I put my underwear on backward last night. So really my booty looked thick because the vagina part was on the butt. So no gains there. Anyway, um, I was just um, thinking about... Where can I put y'all that I can like see you while I am emptying the dishwasher? And I know you guys are like, Jamie, don't do anything while you talk to us, but that's not my life. I have to do shit because I have to go to the airport. Um, anyway, as I pull out all the glasses of people drinking alcohol in my house. Suddenly a moment. So I was just sitting here watching like a bunch of kids ride their bikes to school and I was feeling super melancholy about the fact that like my children will never get to go to school in New Jersey. And I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking what I was thinking. You're all th Okay, first of all, relax yourself. Relax yourself, door. You're all thinking you have such a beautiful life in Birmingham, how could you like possibly complain and I get it. I totally get it. I, I have an amazing life in Birmingham. I'm so lucky. Like, but I want you to know that I'm not ungrateful. I just can't help but wonder what it would be like to watch my kids get on their bikes and ride to school. Like I was a walker growing up. You know, I walked to school and I went on adventures going to the to the, um, you know, crossing the creek, walking to Erickson school with my backpack and my friends. And like, you know, my kids get, they, they wear uniforms. There's no individuality, which, you know, whatever. They, they go in a car, they get dropped off at carpool like cattle. Then I come and pick them up or somebody picks them up. Like, there's no adventure. There's no like, memories like what are they remembering getting dropped off at carpool like i have such vivid memories of like mr Lerner, you know making the more the afternoon announcement like please dismiss the walkers you know and i was like that's me i'm a walker anyway i was just watching these kids go to school and i just was thinking like i have this beautiful home here how cool would it be to have my children here and let them go to school in Manasquan and let them ride their bikes and be outside and walk to the beach and like 
Go live a beautiful Jersey life. Go eat french fries with vinegar on the boardwalk. Fold your pizza in half, okay? Fold your pizza in half. Is that too much to ask? Fold your fucking pizza. Anyway, and then I started thinking, does that make me ungrateful, right? Does it make me ungrateful because I want those things for my children? And then I was wondering, if you want something, if you want something else, and you already have something amazing, does that make you ungrateful? So that's the question. If you want something else, but you already have something amazing, does that make you ungrateful? And I think that there are a lot of people who probably feel like, yes, it does. There, there's a lot of people who probably feel like, Jamie, you have this beautiful life with this amazing man who gave you this beautiful home in Birmingham, and like, how could you possibly want anything else? Right? I know that's what y'all are thinking. Maybe not all of you, but some of you. And I can't say you're wrong. I can't say you're wrong. If I, I don't know where anything goes in this house. So there's that. If I, like, didn't know me, I would be like, lady, shut up. But I, but I am me <laughs> and I, I'm just saying, you know how sometimes you have a great man, but you're not happy? And the whole world is like, how could you not be happy? You have this great man and you're like, yeah, I know, I know. And so you feel like you have to stay because the world thinks you married the most amazing human being in the world. So you feel guilty. How could I not be happy when I have this amazing person? And by the way, I'm not talking about myself. Okay, I am not leaving Michael, I am not getting divorced, I am not unhappy in my marriage, I love my husband, please don't message me. If I decide to separate from my husband, you guys will know, no secrets. But that's the, uh, that's the whole thing, right? Like anytime we want anything for ourselves, people always want us to look back at what we already have. As if like we're not grateful. If you say like I want to, I need, I want to get a new pair of jeans, but you already have six pairs of jeans. Well, I want a new fucking pair of jeans. I understand that I have six pairs of jeans. I am very grateful for those jeans, but I would like new jeans. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's like it doesn't always have to be. You're allowed to have a want. Without people reminding you, you already have that. Shut up. I know. I know. So, I guess what I'm saying is, these beautiful glasses Lorianne made me, I love her so much. Um, what am I even saying? I just want to know what it feels like. That's all. I just want to know what it feels like to watch my kids ride their bike and go to school in Manasquan. Just go to school in New Jersey for one day. Maybe I could let them go to school in New Jersey for one day. Excuse me. Um, Manasquan School District, can my kids go to school here for one day? No, look. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna see my kids, I'm gonna see my dog, I'm gonna go into my closet where I hide, I'm gonna unpack, I'm gonna go, listen, I land at five and Max has a parent basketball meeting at six. My life goes right back to motherhood and I love it and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world and I am so grateful, but every, once in a while, and by every once in a while, I mean every day. I wish that this was my life here. I, I want, not wish, that's not, that's not the right word. I don't like sit around wishing for a different life. I just, like, 
It is a different life to live in a small beach town at the Jersey Shore. It's just different, you know? And it's, there's something about your kids just being able to like walk up to the beach and stay, hang out on the boardwalk and like listen to freestyle music and eat french fries with vinegar. I can't say that enough. And saltwater taffy. And I know everybody's like, but you have a home there. You could literally spend the summer there. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. I absolutely know. And we will. And I know. And we will. But it's kind of like when you have a great husband, but you fantasize about having sex with Brad Pitt or Rihanna. Was that just me? Okay. Um, it's not that you're not grateful for the person you're married to, but who doesn't want to just think about what it's like to have sex with Brad Pitt? I definitely do. Mm. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. So look, I, I just wonder if you, if you can, can you still appreciate what you have and also want something else or does that make you ungrateful? What do you think? I can't read your comments because they won't fucking come up. So I don't see any comments right now, but they will eventually come up and then I go back and read them. But right now, damn it, Facebook, get your shit together. Let me see something. If I write y'all a comment, let's see if you can. Can you guys see my comment? I just wrote one. I said, hello. Um, anyway. You know when you have kids and then you're like, I want another kid and everyone's like, but you already have six kids. Like, mind your business, Claire. We want seven. It's like... I just feel like if we have good stuff, but we still have a want or a desire or a wish, somehow we are made to feel like we are ungrateful. And I just am curious if you subscribe to that. Do you think that people who have good or, you know, however you define good should just be happy with what they have? And by the way, my second question is, is it possible to actually be very happy with what you have and still want something else? Also, does that mean we're always in a state of want? I don't know. I don't. Hmm. It's interesting. It's an interesting thought for me. Anyway. Um. Now I've talked long enough at 7.45. I have to do laundry and like pack because I have to go to the airport. But I love you guys very much. And I have a metatarsal stress fracture in my foot because why wouldn't I? Um, and my foot is so bruised. Do you guys want to see? Ready? Well, now I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Hold on. Can you see how bruised my foot is? here. Holy majolies. Oh, my girl. Right. I feel like now you can't really see it. So I feel like I said it. And now you guys are like, what? But this whole area here. Oh my God. I cannot bend over. Really, Jamie? Go to the gym. Go to the gym, Jamie. You can't even bend over to show people your foot. <laughs> I'm all, I want my kids to live in New Jersey. Really? Because you can't bend over. Anyway. I love you guys. Very much. And I truly hope me and my lock chain hope that you have a great, like honestly great day. And I'm sorry I couldn't read the comments. But I am going to go back and read them so I can understand, like, what the conversation is. Um, I don't understand why they don't come through. It's, like, super fucking annoying. Um, oh, by the way, I put some amazing stuff on the site. Those of you who asked what um, reusable 
snack bags I use for lunch and the bento boxes I use for the kids. If you go to stateofstylejewelry.com, I put all the product up there that I use because I love um, reusable stuff. I told you guys I'm trying really hard to contribute and I love the product that I use and I stand by it. So if you wanna see it and look around the site, you can get this cross necklace, but you can also get the bento boxes for lunch and camp, they're so great. And this reusable snack bags are fabulous. I love them, I use them for everything. Cereal in the morning when they're running late, I throw it in, the, in there and we take it in the car. Snacks, stuff for the park, I mean everything. Um, so you guys can check it out. Anyway, I love you guys very much. Thank you for listening to me ramble because I was clearly in my feels this morning. I think it's melancholy. I don't know. It's not sadness. But I love you and I hope you have a great, great day.